I'm here with Eric Paul. We're looking at his nice troop tree. 1943 horse. 1943. Type 108 K1A. There we go. And uh, they're uh, doing some uh, World War II reenacting. And he's going to give me a little bit more information on this uh, this incredible vehicle right here. So, yeah, so um, I work for Liberty Aviation Museum in Fort Clinton, Ohio. And 10 years ago, my boss bought this vehicle off of a gentleman out of Chicago who bought it from the company that made it. And the company that made it made two prototype vehicles. They made this horse, K1A, and they also made a Steyr 1500. Um, this is actually a 2007 Ford Expedition. They took that as the donor vehicle and they fabricated the body to go over top of the Ford chassis. So it's got four-wheel independent suspension, it's you know, uh, four-wheel drive, great on gas, turnkey, wonderful vehicle. Um, and I can go to the auto parts store and get parts for it. But these originally were designed in 1934 by, um, by a company called uh, Horsch or Auto Union. And Auto Union was four companies that came together, one of which was Audi. And they produced, they came as the conglomerate and they started creating what they called the Einheits Diesel Project. And the idea was, is they took these four and six cylinder engines and the Germans wanted to create a standard diesel powered off-road vehicle. They made a four wheel version, a six wheel version, and an eight wheel version. This represents the four wheel version. And originally they had front and rear steering, um, but they soon realized that it was just a maintenance nightmare and they stopped producing those in 1940. A lot of these went to the Eastern Front with the oper uh, Operation Barbarossa, the German invasion of the Soviet Union, and they proved to be a maintenance nightmare in the field as well. But highly, highly, highly advanced. The Einheits diesels were amazing considering they were designed in 1934. They had four wheel drive, four wheel independent suspension, and they were a 24 volt electrical system. And on the larger trucks, they had air over electric brakes, which was unheard of. It took, it took American companies 30, 40 years to catch up to that technology. Um, so like this one, we take to events and we come to help educate the general public and have fun. <laughs> well, thanks for that information. I appreciate it. We got a little soldier getting inside, checking out the interior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry if I'm photobombing. Oh, you're perfect. <laughs> Put your ice switch on this. What's Should your I favorite thing about this vehicle? The big wheels? Uh, just at the fact that you can run over soldiers and not have to worry about them shooting at you. That's not bad, is it? Because it's high <laughs> off the ground and you can just run over people and... Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> 1941 K1A, built by Audi for uh, troop transport. World War II. Gentlemen are getting on board. You see, they got done up really nice. Great large tires on it. The Germans are heading out. 